Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be traveling to the country of Sweden to talk about how Christmas is celebrated in this country. Sweden is located in Europe. It is close to Norway and Finland and Denmark. The flag of Sweden is blue and yellow. The first thing we're going to talk about is St. Lucia Day, which is celebrated on December 13th. On this day, the oldest daughter in the family will get up early in the morning and put on a white dress with a red sash around her waist and a wreath of candles on her head. She will serve her parents coffee and saffron buns. And this is to honor the legacy of St. Lucia who lived back in the third century. Okay, St. Lucia was a young Christian girl who secretly brought food to persecuted Christians who were hiding in the city of Rome. She wore candles on her head so that she could see her way in the dark and so that she would be able to carry her tray of food. Lucia means light. Nowadays, girls may wear electric candles on their heads. If there's any boys or brothers in the family, they can dress up as star boys. Okay. And Christmas choirs singing St. Lucia songs are very popular in Sweden. Another Christmas tradition in Sweden is the story of the Yule Tomti. Okay, the Yule Tomti lives in the forest and will visit at Christmas time. Okay, there's a domestic Tomti that lives in the barn all year long and takes care of the animals. But at Christmas time, the Yule Tomti will come. Now, every year he gets a big bowl of Yule grout, which is Christmas porridge with a big pat of butter on the top. Okay, and this is the farmer's way of saying thank you to the Tomti and to the Yule Tomti for taking care of the animals in the barn all year long. Okay, and here's another picture of the saffron buns that the St. Lucia, that the girls will serve on St. Lucia Day. Okay. In many Swedish homes, someone will dress up as St. Nicholas and visit children at home on Christmas Eve. Okay, and if you visit Sweden in December, you will see both people dressed up as St. Nicholas and you will also see the Yule Tomti. A Yule Bach or a Christmas goat is a very popular uh, decoration around Christmas time. The Yule Bach will, is said to visit families or this is a ta an old tradition that the Yule Bach would visit families in December to see if all the Christmas preparations were being done right. Nowadays, people will take a Yule Bach, a small figure, and hide it in their neighbors' and friends' homes to see who can find it. On Christmas Eve, Swedish families begin their celebrations by watching the Donald Duck We Wish You a Merry Christmas cartoon special. Okay, families will eat pepperkakor, which is gingerbread cookies. Children will drink Yule Must, which is a soft drink that tastes a lot like Dr. Pepper. And the parents will drink Glog, which is a mulled sweet wine. Okay, and after uh, the Donald Duck special is over, families will get ready for their Yule board. Okay, a Yule board is a Christmas feast. The most popular thing on a Yule board table is the Yule skinka, which is the Christmas ham. Okay? Every Yule board table will have their Christmas ham. Other important foods on a Yule board table include lutefisk, which is a dried fish, and then it's been re, um, rehydrated. Pickled herring, um, because Sweden is close to the ocean. You will have lots of fish dishes. Also, a potato and um, anchovy dish is popular. And meatballs is also a very popular dish in Sweden. In order to say Merry Christmas in Swedish, you would say Good Yule. So, Good Yule, my friends. 